what is up youtube family i've been thinking of calling y'all the goddess gang but that might already be a thing videos i don't know let me know if y'all like it or not i think it's cute because like all my social media handles are like glamazon goddess except it was too long so i had to short it down to glamazon guy but anyway i think that's cute i am back with another bring it to britney you guys seem to really be into this series i'm really into this series too i like it a lot I have gotten an overwhelming number of emails. If you are liking today's look, this look was done in the true crime video about Marcus Wesson. Yeah, that's this look, girl. That's those same products. Thank you so much if you sent in an email. If you have, we will. We, girl, who is we? I will be getting to you. I promise. Also, my sister will be in town. Poppy's mama is finally coming to pick him up. I cannot wait. I am so happy. She's going to do some videos with me, including some Bring It to Britney's. If you have an idea of what you want us to do together, I think a cute little who knows who better tag or something like that would be cute to throw in there too. She wants to do some makeup stuff. If y'all got some ideas, let me know down in the comments. Let us know what you want us to do. Without further ado, let's read some of these emails. Hey, I'm a junior in high school, age 17. A couple days ago, I was at my older sister's house because she was throwing up a little party. So around 12 p.m., I asked if I could have a ride home because people were starting to leave. This guy, who's a family friend, age 28, offered to give me a ride, and so I said sure. Now, just thought I'd say I've never really had a one-on-one -on -one combo with him, but he has a wife and a kid, so I thought it'd be safe. We get into the car, and he started driving, and he offered 100 and $60 for me to show him my boobs and of course I said no. Then he offered me a bunch of other disgusting sexual things he wanted to do. He drove me around for an hour trying to convince me and I was really uncomfortable and we were on back roads. I feel like I should tell my sister but I'm afraid because he's a really good family friend. You have to tell your sister. You have to tell your sister because this is the thing. He really is a creep. Like homeboy is a creep and he is a predator and a lot of times predators who are targeting somebody that's in a family they're very close with or somebody you know somebody who could potentially blow their spot up they'll test them first like they'll test the waters to see if they could potentially get away with something it sounds like he's gearing up to something like the fact that he has the nerve to drive you around for a whole hour trying to convince you to agree to these things is insane and if you don't say anything now you not saying anything about this could potentially make him feel a lot more comfortable taking it further he might feel like okay she didn't say anything about this i'm pretty sure i could scare her into not saying anything about that i get a lot of messages comments and some emails from women who are dealing with like sexual trauma that happened to them in their past i'm telling you you have to protect yourself from him at this point like you you have you have to tell somebody because what he's done is already bad enough but if he assaults you that's something that's really gonna change you a lot that's something that's gonna take a lot to get over and so i feel like the best thing to do is to say something about it and don't think about his child and his wife because he wasn't thinking about that when he was being nasty in a car with you and what he did already is deserving of a swift kick in the dick i I wish I could be the one to give it to him because Lord knows I would but I can't and so you have to say something to your sister ASAP if you are in such a situation and you proposition it may to feel uncomfortable like this to that point you have to say something like you can't let them get away with that because they're gearing up towards something and that would just be the beginning say something please Number two, can you please keep me anonymous? P.S. This long as and I love your channel, friend. It cheers me up. Warning, depression, suicidal thoughts. It's a trigger warning for y'all. If you're triggered by that, that's where she going. How do I build my confidence and leave this dude alone for good? Our history. I met him when I was 15. He was 19. He didn't know my age because I was stacked. Ma'am, let me get let me drink some water. What y'all not gonna do? I'm now 31, and although we've been in several different relationships, we both have kids with different people. Yet he always finds a way to come back to my vagina because we don't get back together. Rude. I think mostly it's because of his sob stories. He goes through shit and immediately I want to be with him to comfort him. We just have intercourse. He claims up, down, and around he loves me. He had multiple women but still finds a way to manipulate his way 
back in my life so now during quarantine i hit him up because we live in jersey city new jersey and the cases here are high girl what would you like what's up old friend just making sure you ain't dead <laughs> ain't gonna lie girl i almost hit my ex up on some so we really not gonna do this one last time before the world end i'm almost in one of them texts I ain't gonna lie so i'm we see each other we see each other i got you my county has more cases than 33 states put together so i'm worried people are dropping like flies i kept hitting him up he told me he was sick i swear i thought he had covid but weeks later and he's fine he says how he needs me to make him feel better sex don't you know he didn't hit me up since april 6th he doesn't care if i live or die nothing how do i move on from this my self-esteem dropped from the roof to the basement I'm so depressed and suicidal. This tapping, this is tapping on this so bad. I thought he and I were friends. He's my first, first guy ever dated, had sex with everything. He doesn't care. I feel like Yvette in the car from Baby Boy. I feel so disposable. My dad left, everyone leaves. I used to go to him just to feel safe. I've gone through so much around this situation and he was always the person who made me feel better. In recent years, it's just been different. I feel fat and ugly. I used to be so confident. I'm a mess friend. I want to leave this time and I never want to look back. I want to glow up. I know when this is over, he's going to reach out. I don't want to be weak for him anymore. P.S. Thanks for this. I'm having many mental breakdowns. Well, good. I just read a lot. Hold on okay sometimes in life we start out as a little brick house child and then it just expands to a little warehouse before we know it but you can always do construction and get that little warehouse back down to a little brick house and that's what you got to do this is the thing your issues are not with this man your issues are with yourself and because there is no running from self you're gonna have to you gonna have to look those demons girl straight on and tackle them you mentioned self-esteem what is it about you do you not like make a list of those things make a list of the things that you do like about yourself and just target the things you don't like if you feel fat and unattractive that's something you can change who we attract who we give an opportunity to that's a reflection of how we see ourselves when you start valuing yourself more and treating yourself better and having higher standards for yourself because you know you just deserve so much more then that's what you'll attract and that's what you'll be with holding on to something that no longer serves you or make you happy it's tied to your self-worth and so that's where you got to start like you just have to build yourself up and just know that you deserve better like why wouldn't you deserve better the fact that you checked on him and then he dipped that confirms that he don't care literally like you said whether you live or die girl leave him leave him alone he's trash one part of your email where you mentioned that everybody leaves and you have an issue with men leaving you sounded like somebody that i knew she was the type that she was just always trying to please a guy and it just wasn't even about whether or not she was happy she just wanted to make them stay she wanted to make them want to be with her it made her come off like real desperate girl like real just i'll do anything to make you say please and it's like no men are attracted to confidence now you might get a couple men who like to manipulate and prey on self-loathing women like that because that makes them easier targets as far as how to build up your self-esteem I would look into probably like positive self affirmations. Make a list of the things about yourself that you like. Like you have to like something about you. You have to. Everybody has a pro. Work on changing some of the things that you don't like and the stuff you can't change. Just say fuck it because none of us are perfect. So Miss Girl, block him. Block his number right now. Delete it. Delete the phone log, the text messages, I messenger. Delete all of that. <laughs> and work on you focus on being the best mom that you can and building yourself up and building those babies up and everything else will fall into place like that's where you got to start i think email number three hey girl your videos are what is getting me through this quarantine anyways my name is alicia and i'm 16 years old and for the past couple years i've been struggling with my physical appearance i also started birth control a year ago and that only added to my weight with me being in high school i noticed that i don't look like a lot of the girls and it gets kind of hard on me at times and with this generation i feel like i have to look a certain way to be accepted i hope that you can give me some advice on what to do thank you for listening i forgot got to say you don't have to keep me anonymous have a good day well i'm glad because i sure said your name
All right, Alicia, this is the thing. A lot of them girls that's cute in your high school right now, they on their way somewhere and you don't want to be there when they get there, I'm sure. Everybody that was cute in high school, none of them, was, none of them girls is cute no more. So just forget about looking like them because they on their way out anyway. Dead ass. Like, I really want to know how many of y'all's high school cuties still cute. I think that at 16, if your weight is becoming an issue, you're at the perfect time to get a handle on it and incorporate some good habits that'll help you maintain and keep your weight low growing up. You're like at the perfect age, girl, because when you're 16, all the metabolism is within you and the metabolism God smile upon you, girl, and you just run down the street and there go 10 pounds falling off. When you get to be my age, you can eat shreds of lettuce for 30 days and 30 nights, girl, and... That's just one pound. You're kind of at the perfect age to, you know, start eating healthier, working out a little day or two during the week. That's something you can definitely get a handle on. And as for looking like the other girls, damn the other girls. Look like you, girl. How about none of the other girls can look like you? How about that? Did you look at it from that perspective, my girl? Because, see, that's the thing. They can't give what you can give. Only you can do that. And so, as long as you're being true to yourself and you're happy with how you look, that's all that matters. But if you're not happy with how you look, then, you know, you have the right to change and tweak it, girl. Because you, I ain't just wake up like this. I got some little braids up under this wig. I decided I wanted to look a little better and then I look like this. You can do the same. Everybody being the same and looking the same is boring. Like, it really is boring and it's tired and it's played out and it's the rule. So, don't even make that a goal of yours. Just be true to you and look like what you want to look like. Because... You want to look like it, not because that's what everybody else looks like. Damn them. All right, so for the next one. Hi, new subscriber. Love your vid so far. If you were in my shoes, how would you navigate your relationship with your toxic, narcissistic, and emotionally immature mother while still living with her? I love my mom, but we barely spend time together, and often our interactions turn into arguments. My mother is sickly, has lots of ailments, so I want to improve our relationship so that it's not strenuous on the both of us. Thank you. I feel like you have a very mature perspective, like you recognize she's getting old. Older. you say she's she's sickly and I understand it's your mother and you want to work it out and I'm all for anybody working out a relationship with their parent but if she is that much of a narcissist and that controlling and that toxic like you made her sound I'm all for cutting off anybody who is detrimental to my mental or emotional health and so that's really my stance on toxic relationships I feel like nobody who is toxic has a place or a space in my little world like no so sorry about it but if you don't see cutting her off as an option then here's the thing everybody has the right to be who they want to be and how they want to be they have the right to be however effed up a person that you feel like they are that's their right so if these are characteristics of your mother you just have to accept her for who she is obviously this has been an ongoing issue for you guys and she has not changed yet so you have to just take her for who she is how she is and deal with her accordingly if you're gonna choose to deal with her and all of that that she brings then you have to know like you invited this into your space by allowing her to be a part of your life and so that's all i got to say for that one all right so i think i'm gonna do one more and that will be it for this video mama's back is starting to hurt girl i gotta go stretch hey Brittany, smiley face emoji so this might be kind of long sorry okay so i was dating this boy for about two years and let me tell you it was a mess girl let me get some water hold on he was super controlling. I could never go out even when it was my birthday and I wanted to go to a bar with my friends. He said no and I still went out and that led us to having a big argument which was nothing new. It was always something with him. But anyway, he ended up breaking my TVs. What? and pouring ketchup and mustard all over my clothes. He broke my bedroom door off. So this was our last argument before I broke up with him. Girl, a mess. But anyway, it's been a year since and he still continues to try and get back with me. Even with me having a boyfriend, I blocked him on message. And he just makes accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and even Snapchat account just to mess with me. Some days it would be like an, I will kill myself if you keep ignoring me. In other days, it would be a fuck you. And now my boyfriend is getting really angry with the whole situation of him keep texting me and it's causing problems. Do you have any advice? I mean, I get why he is upset. This man is constantly contacting. It was kind of like, are you talking to him? Because 
after a year i would feel like if he wasn't getting anything back he would have given up by now but if that's not the case and he ain't gave up and he's just crazy then homegirl you might need to get a restraining order or something because he sounds a little bit unhinged you say he making all these extra pages Girl, you have to be conversing with him on some level. Y'all got to be talking for him to constantly come after you the way that he does. And that's going to have to stop for him to really know like you done, you done. But if that's not the case, my girl, and you don't talk to him at all, then I don't know what you can do if you've blocked him on everything. I would take a, a break from social media. I don't gonna lie, a crazy motherfucker like that could run me off social media. I mean, you could create new accounts and private your friend list. That way he won't be able to see your account on y'all's mutual friends list. I don't know. That's the only thing that could keep him from contacting you from all these different angles, girl. You just made a new page with a different twist to your name you have to get a handle on a girl before you lose your new man and then you be sitting here looking like me girl all manless <sighs> i'm sick of this shit i think i said the last one will be the last one but i think we could do one more just just just, just one more just one more hey Brittany. firstly i just want to say how much i adore you and appreciate the quality content you post for us so i'm writing to you about something that happened to me recently and i would love to hear what you would do in this situation so it started a few months ago when i met this guy and we were getting to know each other we went on three dates and i remember when sex came up in one of our conversations, I specifically told that I wasn't interested in hooking up right away and that I wanted to take it slow. Which brings us to our fourth date, which was our last date due to what took place. We went to a cinema bar, I'm 21, and I took a few shots. I made the mistake of forgetting to eat beforehand. Girl, we didn't all done that. Oh. After my fifth shot, I was feeling really drunk, so I asked him to take me home. However, instead of taking me home, he took us to a motel. I remember getting in the car, and then I blacked out. I remember getting out of the car, and then I blacked out. It's hard to remember the whole night after that, but I can clearly remember him having sex with me on the bed and in the shower. I didn't register what was happening at the time. I was disheveled the whole night and spent it throwing up bile in the motel bathroom. Bathroom. The next morning he was like you wanted to have sex but you don't remember he convinced me that I wanted to do it and that he tried to take me home, but I told him not to because of my parents. I should explain that my family is super religious and that I'm not even allowed to be having alcohol, let alone hang out with men. I'm scared to report him because I'm scared of my family finding, finding out what led to the assault. My question to you is what would you do if it happened to you? And how can I get over this because I'm tired of feeling disgusting? Anyways, I'm sorry this is so long. I hope to hear your advice on this thank you for doing this for us and i love you oh i love you too girl so i understand that your family is super religious and you don't want them to find out that you were drinking but i'm pretty sure they care way more about you and your safety versus you drinking like i'm pretty sure they would care a lot more about making sure the person who did this to you pay for that and you know you being okay because you could very well potentially need therapy for this like this is so much bigger than you just having a drink if it were me i definitely would tell my parents i'm telling you to tell your parents like you need to tell them don't hold on to this don't try to bury this because you can try to act like it didn't happen but it's gonna catch up to you like it really is. It's not something you're gonna be able to run from. It's something that right now you need to, to, to handle. And he does not deserve to get away with what he did to you. Like he sexually assaulted you and his ass needs a swift kick in the nuts too. So I need to sexually assault him. Nasty motherfucker. Oh, you need to forgive you too because look, we all made bad decisions. We didn't all drink and not eating before. When I was young and ratchet, I used to do it on purpose just so I could feel the liquor quicker. Yeah girl we all make stupid mistakes and even still no no matter how much you drink if you took down the whole bottle it doesn't give anybody any kind of right to do anything to you that you don't want okay and the fact that you told him that you don't want it when you were sober even if you felt like you wanted it in the moment when you weren't sober any man who would take advantage like that is a creep and so even still in that sense he knew that's not something you wanted to do. He should have respected that. He didn't. He needs, he need to go to jail today. And that's all I got to say about that. Well, 
that concludes this video if you liked it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave comment down below if you have any extra encouraging good positive words for these young ladies or if you have a story of your own where you can tell them you know just to show them that somebody out here can relate to them as always i appreciate you so much for watching and uh, i will see you in the next one peace